Kindergarten. Welcome to Rangers Workshop. So last night I was watching one of my favorite Superman movies. At the end of the movie, it made me so nervous because Superman faces some really big trouble. So first he tried to use his x-ray vision power to move a big rock, but guess what? It didn't work. So he tried to use a different superpower. He used his super strength and he was able to move that big boulder and he saved the day. So you see superheroes don't give up. They always try something different if the first wave fails. And guess what? Super readers do the same thing. Today, friends, I want to teach you that when one superpower doesn't work, super readers use another one. Readers try one thing and then another to tackle the problem. So we're gonna try this together. We're gonna read a story part of a story about in the garden, and I'm sure you've heard it before. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so we're gonna look at our story in the garden, and we're gonna try to use our superpowers. And if something doesn't work, we're gonna try to use a different superpower. So in the garden, so I'm gonna open up to page 10, and I'm gonna read this page. So I'm going to activate my um, sound power, my snapboard power, all my powers and see which ones will help me. Look at the, oh no, I don't know that one. Hmm, g, g. Oh, that's a really long word. I don't think I can use my snapboard power. Wonder what other power I can use. Hmm. Wonder if I can use my picture power. Let's pull this off and see if this will help me. Oh my goodness, that kind of looks like a cricket. Hmm. But I see over here, when I'm using my sound power and my picture power, I see that this starts with a G, a G. And I know cricket doesn't start with a G. So I bet, I know it can be grasshopper. Look at the grasshopper. Yay, we figured it out. Let's look at another page. Glad we didn't give up. We tried another superpower. Okay, mm, here's another one. Ooh, look at that slimy thing. Look at the, I don't know that word either. My, oh my, um, let's look at the picture. Okay, it's a slimy bug. It kind of looks like a slug. Hmm, let's check our words over here and see if our picture matches that word, slug. No, I need to use my sound power. My picture power is kind of failing me right now, so I need to try a different power. I'm gonna try my sound power. Sm oh, I know, it's a snail. It kind of looks like a slug, but it's a little bit different. It has a shell, I remember it now, snail. So my picture power failed, but I had my uh, sound power to use instead. So let's read it all. Look at the snail. Oh, that's so wonderful. We figured it out. So let's get back to, okay, friends. So did you see what we did there? My sound power was failing me. So I tried my picture power on the first page. Then on the next page, my picture power failed. So I had to use my sound power. So we always have to try all of our powers to figure out those tricky words sometimes. Let's look at our powers. Let's look at these powers right now. Wow, I see all of our superpowers here. We have pointer power, reread power, partner power, picture power, snapper power, sound power, persistence power. Hmm. I wonder what that means, persistence power. That's one of our, that's one of our new superpowers. Do you know what it means to be persistent? Being persistent means that you don't give up. Just like Superman, when he had to use different superpowers, he never gave up and he was still able to tackle the problem. That's what I want you super readers to do. I want you to use your persistence power and don't give up today when you're reading. Happy reading, friends.